Hey guys, my name is Scott Dugan, and in this video series, we're going to take a look at analog synthesizers, specifically how to program them. If you were like me, the first time you looked at a synth, you were overwhelmed. You didn't know what to do. There was all these knobs, all these switches, maybe a patch bay, and no presets. You didn't know what to do with yourself. So in this video series, we're not going to look at plugins, nothing digital, only analog synthesizers. So go to your closet, grab that synth that you gave up on, doesn't matter if it's a Roland, Yamaha, Korg, whatever it is, and, and just plug it in. Let's go over the four main parts they all have in common. So I have three really cool synths that I want to share with you. The first one over here is made by Arturia. Now Arturia has come up with some really cool plugins, but they decided to try their first analog synth, and it's really cool. It's modern, and it's a monophonic synthesizer. It's got MIDI on the back, and you can do some really cool things with the arpeggiator and the LFO and sync that to your DAW. So next, we have a Juno 60. Now, how can we talk about analog synths without visiting the 80s? The 80s were synth heaven. And this synth is really cool because it's a polyphonic synthesizer. You can play six notes at the same time. And it is one of the first synthesizers that can store your patches. This was revolutionary back in the 80s. Next, we have a Moog Modular Clone. This is going way back to the very beginning of synthesis itself. Now, the really cool thing about this synth is that all the pieces and parts of the synthesizer are all in front. It's kind of turned inside out. And the only thing connecting the modules in the back is power. So we can really trace the signal path all the way across the synth and see exactly how it works. 